Hey, how you doing? This is John, and uh, here's another video of traveling with John. And today we are over here at the Japanese Tea Gardens in San Antonio, Texas. And um, let's go ahead and take a walk through and see what it's like. Uh, apparently, this place has uh, Japanese koi fish and a lot of other nice plants. Some beautiful scenery, re relaxation. And let's just take a walk there. I'm not going to speak too much and just uh, enjoy the view and everything like that. So, enjoy. saw that plaque earlier uh, I'll go back to the plaque if there's somebody over there and I'll read to you what it's all about but uh, let's go ahead and let's go inside the garden what is the problem there is no problem here I am that So this is the entrance, I'm going to go ahead and get my tickets to go in, and I'm going to put it on pause, and I'll get back with you later. Okay, so uh, apparently this place is free, you don't need tickets or anything like that, so let's go ahead and let's go in. This is the entrance area, they have a nice little small little restaurant, cafe, you can buy drinks, whatever, so you can walk through. So it looks like they have really nice plants. Everything is really beautiful. Looks like they've got some water with some koi in there. Although it looks like the water's really not too crystal clear, but we'll go ahead and check it out.
as you can see the really nice uh, waterfall The water is very relaxing, although I wish for some more koi that over there. Koi looked really good. I just wish there were some more koi in there. But other than that, it's very relaxing. My first time visiting the Japanese tea garden. It's a lot that San Antonio has to offer. Here's a spectacular view of the waterfall that comes on over there. Definitely a great place just to relax and unwind. So as you can see, there's the pavilion that's right over there. You can just sit and relax, have a nice drink. They have a little cafeteria or snack shop. There's a really closer view of the waterfall. This looks really good. Hi. Walk up the stone stairs. You have to be careful, Doug, in case you can fall down.
you know, as I'm getting older, I'm enjoying the beauty of flowers, gardening, and this is just spectacular the way they keep the plants and, and the shrubs. It's just a great view. So here's a plaque, it says the Japanese Tea Garden. Vision and creativity changed and abandoned rock glory. Into this place of beauty, love, made it into home, sustained it, and reserved it. For many decades prior to the early 1900s, this quarry supplied limestone to the Alamo Cement Company. Park Commissioner Ray Lambert specialized reclaiming the site as a Japanese style garden and invited a newly arrived Japanese artist, Kinchi Jingu, to do more. Mr. Jingu and other Japanese designers using the quarry's national rocks built bridges, walkways, and lily plants, which are still here today. Mr. Hugh Ger Gerhart served as head gardener and caretaker for 25 years. In 1915, the city asked Mr. Jingu, the Japan, to settle to Texas immigrant and his wife Mishoshi to make their home here. They lived in a rock house still standing today for 25 years. They did so while rearing their eight children, Mary Ruth, Ray, Helen, Mabel, Lillian, James, and Kiwi, Kimmy. They managed the tea house and the gardens and they hosted increasing number of visitors and tourists. Father Shingu died in 1938, but the family carried on World War II, with its anti-Japanese emotions, fell heavily on the Jingu family. They were evicted from their home, and the facility was renamed Japanese Sunken Garden. James and Kimmy went on to Army service, earned the Purple Heart while serving with the 442nd Infantry Division in Europe. After the war, the Jingu family gradually moved to California. In July 1983, the City Council restored the original name, Japanese Tea Garden, thereby gratefully acknowledging the Shinku family contributions and demonstrating the city's close ties with the nation and the people of Japan. Rededicated October 1984. So there's some history right over there. It's pretty awesome that it was actually somebody's house. How about that?
confetti everywhere. They also have weddings here. I don't think they're doing weddings here. So we're walking down this trail. I don't know where it leads, but I uh, can just see where it goes. There's a really neat cactus pear. Places like these are really excellent to explore. Just come here, walk around, places that you've never been to. Okay, so it looks like this is just one of the many entrances and right across the street from where you see that's the San Antonio Zoo. So I'll go ahead and if you like this video, you can subscribe, comment, or like. And my next video is going to be the uh, San Antonio Zoo. And over here, they have the park called Brackenridge Park. We've got a train ride for the kids, which is pretty cool. But I'm gonna head back into the back into the Japanese tea garden again and get back to the zoo later on. So. That noise that you just heard, that was just the train over there, Brackenridge Park. Kind of picked a odd day to come over here when 
temperatures here in San Antonio are getting really hot. Um, but that's a good, that's a good thing because it's a sign that, you know, summertime is coming around the corner. Going through that winter blast that we had. But now we're heading back down the same trail that we came from. We're heading back towards the, uh, the sunken garden. I know some people they like watching the video and they don't want to, you know, be interrupted by anybody. But, you know, sometimes you come across plaques, or you just try to point things out, you know. So I hope I wasn't too uh, distracting from watching the video. Alright, so our tour of the Japanese tea garden is almost over with. Uh, before I leave, I'll give you another quick view of where the pond is, where the koi is. Get a really good look at it. All these bright flowers of color. Overall, I was very satisfied with this place. It was really nice. Although I would wish to see more koi in the pond, but you know, it's been it's it's really cool. I like that. Definitely another Texas treasure. What you know to enjoy. So when you come to San Antonio, uh, if you're from somewhere else and you're checking out this video, I'll leave an address or in the description link of where you can uh, you can see it. And again, this is somebody's backyard, so it definitely was very cool to wake up to this every single morning. You got some people there doing some doing some painting. It looks really nice. Are you trying to uh, paint the scenery from the? Uh... This is a close-up of some of the koi fish. Uh huh. This one is a friendly abstract, kind of what some of the splashes. If you were like doing this to your eyes. How would you just get into colors versus the reality? It's just, yeah, you can get closer if you like. Okay, great, thank you. So, yeah, um, yeah, this is for my audience on YouTube, so I just wanted to give them a voice. And, oh, yeah, if you've not, it was a great no, no, description. No, we're really trying to capture the sky, the greens, and the nature uh -huh. in little parts. Yeah, and it's very beautiful. You're doing a very good oh, job. It's still in, in the, in the, in the, but once it's finished, and like this, it should look something. Oh, that looks great. Yeah. That looks great. You have a lot more talent than I do because mine's more stick figure. No. Are you, do you do these paintings and are you uh, for sale? For yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Well, that's good. And you'll be sitting from where? Are you from Houston? San Antonio? No, I'm from San Antonio. And I'm just giving the audience uh, a tour of the uh, Japanese. Oh, yeah. My favorite place. It is really beautiful. It's one of them hidden treasures. I've come five hours away just to like. It is really nice. And thank you very much for sharing your painting with us. And there you go. So we have this one last section right over here. So like I said before, uh, the Japanese tea garden is free, you just walk right in.
All right then. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I sure did. I enjoyed coming out here, giving you a tour of the Japanese uh, tea gardens. Like I said before, it's free. You just walk right in. You don't have to pay anything. It's great to explore places like this that don't cost anything. Just require time just to get out here and enjoy. You can look, uh, you can do a search on Google, find out the times that they're open. Uh, I've encountered some of the staff already, they're very nice and friendly, and so also some of the people, as you can tell. Okay. And here's one more last view of the sunken garden, along with the water and the koi. And that beautiful waterfall that's down over there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys will subscribe, comment, or like. Okay. And that's it. And I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.